2022 was proclaimed by the UN as the International Year of Artisan Fisheries and Aquaculture, or IAFA. ICSF used this as an opportunity to hold workshops in Asia, Latin America, Caribbean, Africa and Europe through 2022-2023 to flag challenges faced by small-scale artisan fishers and fish workers in the sector and to explore a way forward. An important uh, contribution of the small-scale fishery guidelines is that bringing the human rights dimension. So we don't only talk in terms of, uh, of uh, the quantity of fish, uh, of uh, the, the processing techniques, but we also talk about the dignity of the people involved. What are the rights of these people, you know? So it's very important to see the individual and collective human rights of fishers, fish workers and fishing communities. The issue of gender equality and women's role in fisheries resonated through workshops at all locations. Another issue common to countries in Asia and Africa is the marginalization of fishing communities to the extent where they are deprived of basic essentials that other communities take for granted. For the case of the Lesap, it's a bit exceptional, it, it's a bit, uh, you know, uh, pitiful because they are living in the floating village and it's far, you know, from, from the shore, from the bank and from the, the center, or from the area, the crowded area. And most of the time, they uh, did not uh, really access to, the, to all these kinds of uh, social development uh, facility and services. Most of them, they do not have uh, proper sanitation and drinking water. And they just, let's say example, for drinking, they just take the water from the lake and then drink, uh, you know, directly. And sometimes they also boil and they have some uh, kinds of uh, uh, purification machine uh, to purify. But not, not all of them that they can really afford, you know, to to these kinds of uh, services. Residents fishing village near big cities has partial facilities of gas, electricity, sanitation, a school and education institution. As other part of country, city are divided between urban rich, middle class and poor areas. Most fishers are living poor areas. Most school are without proper washroom and waters. Even uh, there's no drinking water, children bring water from their own home. Water scarcity is uh, everywhere but fishers resident areas are worse affected. Water come once a week, some areas. We have a pollution of uh, the water bodies, particularly the inland fisheries. I don't know how it is with uh, marine, but inland fisheries, I think it's one of the uh, the sector where it faces a lot of uh, pollution. We have fishing communities that are settling near the lake. They don't have a latrine, they don't have... They, communities lack a basic amenities. There's no waste management, nothing. So that means all these effluents are going into the lake and they are affecting the, the ecosystem, how the fish produce, destroying breeding grounds. We have factories that are being built near the lake. They power everything into the lake. So all these are factors which are actually contributing to uh, destroying the, the ecosystem, but also affecting the availability of uh, fish so that uh, everybody can have sufficient uh, fisheries resources. Me llamo Maria Valles, eh, soy mariscadora. En el marisqueo son 220 mujeres de la ría de Arosa. Ahora hay otra de otra cofradía. Eh, en Galicia eh, yo fui patrona mayor durante ocho años. En estos momentos hay tres patronas mayores. Yo llegué, llegué a ser la única. In the Latin American and Caribbean countries, the group agreed that there must be specific training for sexual violence, drugs, alcoholism and conflict resolution. Through these discussions, a number of solutions were proposed to mitigate the challenges faced by small-scale fish workers. These include better collaboration between fishery organizations and stakeholders. Strengthening artisanal fisher organizations for better representation in demanding rights. Recognize the occupational health-related problems of fish workers, especially women. Appointment of women fishers to higher management levels within organizations. 
a proper demarcation of fishing community territory that is not used by development projects, tourism, etc. Prevent industrial fishing from edging out artisanal and small-scale fishers. The International Year of Artisanal Fisheries and Aquaculture, EAFA 2022, was an opportunity to highlight the importance of small-scale artisanal fisheries and aquaculture for our food systems, livelihoods, culture and the environment. EAFA aims to motivate relevant stakeholders to ensure that the end of the year is the beginning of a new era of support for small-scale fisheries and aquaculture.